Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Tuesday, September 1st of 2020. Well, this morning, it's all about worshiping Father God in spirit and in truth. After all, His Word says He is seeking for such to worship Him. Today's worship music has taken a turn, and it's really not for the better. Sure, the instrumentalists and the vocalists are great, but the content of the songs are lacking in true worship. Many of the popular worship songs have taken the focus off of Father God and now focus on who we are and what we can do in Christ. When we become the focus instead of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, worship shifts to being me-centered rather than God-centered. So today... This morning's prayer urges us to consider our worship to God, worshiping in spirit and in truth. Father, this morning I fear I'm going to ruffle some feathers, but I cannot ignore what I believe is truth about worship in many of today's churches. The purpose of assembling ourselves together is to edify and encourage each other, but more importantly, to minister to you in music and prayer. The problem is most of the songs played today are about us and who we are in Christ. Very few songs are sung these days regarding you and your attributes. Forgive us for the truth of the matter is that we have made the worship segment of church me-centered rather than God-centered. This is also creeping into our pulpits. It has become all about who we are in Christ and what we think we can do because Christ dwells in us. How we will fight our battles and how we will take authority over evil. Father, the absolute truth is that we are totally helpless without you. We have died and our lives are hidden with Christ in you. We can do nothing apart from you, period. As I was sitting in the church service on Sunday, I was prompted by you with a series of questions. When we worship, are we really worshiping you, Father? Are you, Father, truly pleased with the songs we sing? If we would put ourselves in your position, Father, are the words of these songs actually uplifting and glorifying the Lord? Father, since we are made in your image, help us to really take a long look through this perspective. Open our eyes to the absolute truth. Your word says true worshipers will worship you in spirit and in truth, for you are seeking such to worship you. There is so much to proclaim about who you are and what you have done for salvation of mankind, both now and for eternity. As we gather, Father, may we glorify you with everything that comes out of our mouths. Let us not try to share the glory and honor that is due only to you. It's in the name of Jesus we pray this morning, Father. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.